Welcome, Andrew. Um, for those of you who don't know, yeah, we sometimes during Advent and Lent have members of our congregation, and I just thought it'd be really quite good to have some of the members of our staff team, because uh, you may not know what they do, or in fact, indeed, who they are. And, and so, uh, unless you come in during the week, and I know some of you are not here during the week, this is our weekday version. Andrew, welcome, Andrew. And uh, do you want to um, say a bit about yourself? Do you want to? Um, what should I say? Um, I've, I have been here at St Stephen's since 2016. Um, and I came originally and did pastoral work in the parish. Then Eddie retired and I sort of fell into being the weekday director. And I'm still here. You were interviewed, of course. I was interviewed. Yeah, yeah, you did just. Just. <laughs> the church wardens were very diligent and interviewed me uh, for the position of weekly bird. Um, and of course, you and I have worked together previously, Graham. I don't know how many people know that. But over the last nine years that I've known Graham, we've worked together for six of those nine in two different places. They were, you were a past assistant in my um, uh, uh, last place, where you came here after, because um, you, you had some, well, say, not just issues with previous employers, but we, no. you, you had quite a traumatic uh, event happen to you. But we're not here to talk about it. We're mainly to talk about your your work at Andrews, a weekday verger. And, and certainly, um, this is going to come to the end, end, isn't it, at the end of this year, yeah. because you've decided, and I think kind of quite rightly, I mean, I can, I can try and contain you, uh, because I'm going to miss you very, very much indeed, um, because like you said, We've worked together for many, many years. Um, but it is right and fitting, I think, that rather than having a part time job, you, you, you have a full time job. Yeah. But what, what's it like? I mean, what are the sort of things that you have to do? Presumably, it's just clean. Is that, is that right? Or would that it work? Just clean. I don't know when I get up in the morning what I'm going to face when I get here. I mean, there's, there's the usual things like the setting of the services, which I, I know to expect. But I don't know at any moment who is going to walk through the door because the church is open, it is a place of prayer. Not everybody comes in looking for a peaceful place to sit and pray. There are some disruptive persons, there have been one or two incidents, um, which I would say are irksome. Um, what else do I I made a little list to pop myself. I set up the services. I take the autocross to the dry cleaners. I have to remember to go back and get them again. <laughs> um, and the situation with 2020 was one of the, the autocross that's on now is the dry cleaners for seven months. <laughs> um, but it is back and in place. Um, what else do I do? I set up for groups. There, there are so many groups that meet in St. Stephen's and use this space. What type of ground do you think? Some, some people may not even know. What, what sort of groups come and what use our groups that you would be involved with in setting up? Well, I have been involved from the very beginning of the second half club on a Monday. Do you want to explain what it is? Some, so, some people may not know what the second half club is. I can see one person who's two people who are here who are involved with things on a Monday. Um, but at 10 o'clock on a Monday, Barclays Bank sends some expert to teach persons of a certain age computing. So people come along with mobile phones and iPads and laptops and say, I have this problem, how do I resolve it? Um, because and there are four regular, all ladies, four ladies who come along and one, one's learning to use an iPad, one's joined Instagram, um, <laughs> One wants to know how to use Excel, so she turns up with a laptop. The youngest of these ladies is 82. <laughs> um, so they, they do that at 10 o'clock. Then at 11.15, um, Amanda, who I can see walking, I can see two eyes walking through, but Amanda instructs a marvellous uh, Zumba class for, for the people the group of common people call of rival years, <laughs> um, which I think it's just great fun. What happens after that? Um, it's we've, had lectures, so we've, had a series, we've had many series of lectures. Um, I can see the person behind me who gave the series of lectures, and there's 
There's so many other congregations who gave a talk on the subject, and um, it's important to think about I think it was. Um, so we've had many talks on many different subjects, ranging from precious stones, jewellery, the history of, uh, churches and cathedrals, astronomy, history, uh, botany. <laughs> we had botany, um, which was quite interesting. Um, so we had that. We also have a group of people who come and watch films here. Um, also persons of a certain age. So this is all on Monday, is it? All on Monday, so it's sort of one out, one in. Okay. And, and uh, what else happens? Um, I, think, I think also on Monday we have um, singing, don't we? Uh, there's the singing group back home. Oh. I clean forgot about those. The singing group, they meet in here around the piano at the same time as the lectures or whatever's going on in the art fest. Um, and I sort of, I've seen these groups grow over the last four and a half years, quite marvellously. Um, and I came to realise that on bank holiday Monday is when this wasn't happening. Certain groups of people who've met these things meet for coffee. <laughs> so one of, one of the ladies who comes to the singing, who she's, she's only 87, um, she has all of the other people to her flat for coffee when they can't be here for singing, which um, I think is marvellous. I don't know whether you realise that, Andrew. This came out about one time we had a, um, one of our annual general meetings. This is just to tell the congregation, both on Zoom and here present, that actually the AGM included the proposed. I think it was our, our friend Joanna here who said, well, we're doing all this to the young people, what about the older generation? And as a direct result of that, we set up in conjunction with the um, with It's the Second Half Foundation, and in conjunction with Open Age and Parkland's Bank. And ourselves. And ourselves. So we, we kind of did that all together as a direct, as a direct result. So well done, Joanna. See, you propose things at annual meetings. You think they're never ever going to, and, and things happen. <laughs> What, what other things do you do? I mean, apart from doing the services, setting up the social, the, the second half, what other clubs do you have out here? There's T3. Oh, yes, of course. Which anybody passing by at 3 o'clock on Monday, pop some tea. Then on Thursdays. We're still doing that virtually ah. on a Thursday, so you can come and join us for T3 virtually on Zoom. On Thursdays, the, the, um, the churches are quite people. It's not widely broadcast, and I don't feel at liberty to talk about them too widely. But it's a group of people who come for English lessons and art therapy, who've had great trauma in their lives. You can see in their eyes this, this terrible trauma that has happened. And many of them, the, their eyes are fixed at a point on the floor, six inches from the toes. They sort of they don't want to look at you, they don't want to... And if you sort of said boo to them, they'd probably drop dead. Um, so they can use the space and I sort of lurk around. Um, and they're quite marvellous for us, really. Actually, it's amazing because we've got members of our congregation with all these groups, including that one on a Thursday. Uh, Sue helps out um, with that. They, 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 that um, members of the congregation come and help with those groups. And I think that's the wonderful thing. It actually gives a connection. So it's not just people using the premises, is it? Actually, yes. it's, it's actually it's building up a kind of a community. Yes. That's and I know Miss Dean has something. It's on a Tuesday. Miss Dean, um, singing for the main dementia sufferers. Yes. Um, because I don't understand how this works. I'm not sure many minutes ago, but music and singing seem to stay with people who've lost the minds otherwise. That's good news for me. So, um, these people come along and sing songs that they learned 60 years ago, but they couldn't tell you what happened 10 minutes ago. Um, and they're a marvellous little group, so I sort of see them in passing. Um, use this space that I leave things for, make sure the bin's empty for, the heating's on for, because I never see yoga, I never see the exercise group on Thursday evening, but I make sure the heating's on for them when, when we need the heat. Um, Make sure it's on this week. It'll be on this week. <laughs> it was a fiasco last week, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> um, so your job is not just about setting up the service. No, there's, a, there's a pastoral role too then. There's a pastoral role. Um, people wandering off the street quite often.
Andrew, is not, is not to scream because some of these people are in need themselves. So it's not just screaming the people away from us, but it's actually dealing with it in the here and now. And we're really, really grateful um, for that. And we're grateful for you, for your ability. Now, I know also there's some difficult things. I mean, when we did, when we had the port, oh, of course, if you're cleaning the port, you're occasionally going to be your food clean, yeah, clean up as well. Don't you? We think about to see that, see this side. We kind of rock up on a Sunday and think, they're all rosy, but we forget that actually we do have some really, really quite problematic characters. Yes, it's, people don't want to see that. Um, in one week in particular, there was poo outside the door, then there was poo by the font. I had gone out to the dry cleaners and came out and found a deposit. Um, and in the same week, the oil tank overflowed and there was all of that to deal with. Um, because I also monitor the oil levels to make sure we're all warm. Um, so there's all that practical, what I call the dirty work to do. Yes, yes. So, you know, putting the carpet down the loo doesn't do itself. I think, I think people forget that. I mean, I think often we kind of turn up on the Sunday and we just think that there we are. We, we, you know, quite rightly so, we kind of say, well, this hasn't been done, or this hasn't been done. But I haven't realised that actually there's not just the, the, the run of the, the things that go on in this building, which are quite phenomenal. Um, but there's there's all the other aggravations. I can never show you came back from further. We have a very, very difficult character. He spends half his life in prison and half his life aggravating us. And uh, I won't give away his name because it's unfair. But uh, I, I said um, I said, Andrew, you can come back, you're quite safe. I said, it, it, there's no need to worry. I said, everything's kind of sorted out. We haven't had anybody around, and this person is in prison. And the, I kid you not, the first day we opened up the, the doors, didn't we? And, uh, and there he was, he said, I'm out, I've been released. <laughs> and I said, oh, so he said, welcome back, Andrew. Um, yeah. Nice yeah. tonight, I'm so pleased you're back. Of course, we've got the um, one group that, that, that some of them are here, which I think is a new group which you're enjoying. I mean, you're yes, yes. Uh, is the, uh, the gardening group, there are a group of persons who are taken to coming on Monday morning and tagging the garden. And all I do for them really is I make a pot of coffee and make sure they have a coffee break. But I love that 15 minute coffee break, just chatting about the weather, the price of cabbage, you know, nuclear war, pig bags, whatever comes up in conversation. Um, and I really enjoy that. And I will miss that. Well, we're, we're really great. We're great to miss you very, very much. And um, I, I think you've been a, a real blessing to our com community. And, and, and you go with us still being friends. You're not kind of leaving because it's actually you have to come along. Um, it's really, you know, it, it's a part of your life. You've got to, you've got to move on. But we're going to miss you very, very much indeed. I, I think some of those groups are so important to people. I mean, I'm always amazed that. Going back to the singing for the brain, I, I, I can remember some, um, you know, songs, even you know, song, you know, songs that I uh, in the 1970s. But I can't quite fathom out why I actually walked into the kitchen, you know, <laughs> and that's me with relatively good good health. So those those things are so so important. Yeah. I think God and you you've, you've been a bastard to that. Mm. Um, and that's, that's been quite incredible. Now, we've been thinking about gifting. We had a great day during the week. Those of you who didn't come along, you missed out on a, a, a great little um, event with um, our St. Augustine's uh, fellows um, about gifting, what sort of gifts um, we bring. What, in, that, in that genre, in that, in that kind of idea of gifting, what things do you think any success, what gifts do you think they need to bring? And, and what gifts do you think you, you've brought to the world? That's a bit of a difficult one. That's an incredibly difficult question. Gifts is the right word for today, being St Nicholas's Day. Of course. Happy 6th of December and St Nick. Um, <clears throat> I like to think that I never think of myself as a talented or gifted person at all, devoid of talents. But I like to think I brought the gifts of patience and the ability to listen. Um, 
because there, there are people who pass who just pop in to say hello because they're passing. And I like to think that people are comfortable enough to do that because I haven't been patient enough to listen to them. I, I, think, that's that's true. True. I think that's absolutely true. And to be perfectly frank, to work with me for over six years, you must have some patience. Let's <laughs> say patience of the, you know, sentence. <laughs> so yeah. um, yes. So I like to think any future virgin will continue to have those gifts and be a better polish than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I remember to put the half foot down the loo, but I don't always pay attention to the grass. <laughs> and Andrew, we we shall miss you. And we thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us. I know people are there, but appreciate it. Can we just say a little prayer for you and um, for all those who come into this building and for those who care for you. Good and creative God, we give you thanks for the ministry of Andrew in this place for the past four and a half years. We ask that you may continue to bless him as he moves and prepares to move to pastors new. And bless our place of worship, this church of St. Stephen's, for all those who visit, for those who come to pray, for those who try and seek peace, for those who may be disturbed. We ask that your peaceful presence may be with each and every one of them. And bless us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.